Step-by-step -step ISF filing process for garden tools. Welcome to the ultimate ISF filing guide for garden tools. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about ISF filing, including 1. What is ISF filing? 2. What garden tools are subject to ISF filing? 3. How to complete an ISF filing for the penalties for failing to file an ISF. We'll also provide you with a step-by-step -step guide to filing your ISF, so you can be sure that you're compliant with the law. What is ISF filing? ISF stands for Import Security Filing. It's a new requirement that's been put in place by the U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, to help protect the country from dangerous goods. Under ISF, importers must provide CBP with detailed information about all shipments of goods entering the United States. This information includes the 1. Shipper's name and address 2. Consignee's name and address 3. Country of origin 4. Harmonized tariff schedule, HTS, number 5. Quantity and value of the goods 6. Description of the goods. ISF filing is required for all shipments of goods valued at $2,500 or more. What garden tools are subject to ISF filing? Most garden tools are subject to ISF filing. This includes items such as 1. Lawn mowers 2. Weed whackers 3. Hedge trimmers 4. Chainsaws 5. Tillers 6. Trowels 7. Rakes 8. Spades If you're importing any of these items, you'll need to file an ISF. How to complete an ISF filing To complete an ISF filing, you'll need to use the ISF electronic filing system. The ISF electronic filing system is easy to use. You simply need to create an account and then follow the instructions to enter the required information. Once you've submitted your ISF filing, you'll receive a confirmation number. This number is important, as you'll need to provide it to CBP when your shipment arrives at the border. The penalties for failing to file an ISF The penalties for failing to file an ISF can be severe. If you're caught failing to file an ISF, you could be subject to 1. Civil penalties of up to $10,000 per shipment 2. Criminal penalties of up to 20 years in prison 3. The seizure and forfeiture of your goods it's important to note that the penalties for failing to file an ISF are not limited to the importer. If you're a broker, carrier, or other party involved in the importation of goods, you could also be held liable for failing to file an ISF. Step-by-step -step guide to filing your ISF. To help you comply with ISF filing requirements, we've provided a step-by-step -step guide below. 1. Create an account on the ISF electronic filing system. 2. Enter the required information about your shipment. 3. Review your ISF filing and make sure that all of the information is correct. 4. Submit your ISF filing. 5. Receive a confirmation number. That's it. You've now successfully filed your ISF. In this video, we've covered everything you need to know about ISF filing for garden tools. We've discussed what ISF filing is, what garden tools are subject to ISF filing, how to complete an ISF filing, and the penalties for failing to file an ISF. We hope this information has been helpful. Thank you for watching.